two things that you should know about Special Olympics. I don't know if I quite understood before I took this job. First, everybody knows it's a sports organization, but what you really should know is it's so much more than sports. Yes, we provide authentic, competitive, real sports opportunities to uh, people with intellectual disabilities all across the state, but what it really is, is a movement of inclusion. And it's really making the next generation, a unified generation of showing how you can be inclusive of everybody, even if they're a little bit different uh, through sports. Also, people think Special Olympics is one day, right? When is the Special Olympics? When is the day? When can I volunteer for the games? I thought it was more like one day um, that people just volunteer and hug the athletes and that was really all Special Olympics was about. But Special Olympics is every day. Our athletes train two to three times a week in their sport. There are three different sport seasons. This became most apparent to us um, during this time of COVID and how badly our athletes were missing us for, like all of us, we, in March, uh, faced isolation, um, social isolation, isolation from our family, from our friends. We couldn't go to the restaurants we wanted to go to. We couldn't do the things we wanted to do. And I, um, probably like many of you, did not like that one bit. And I think it shows a little bit about how people with disabilities um, too often feel um, in our state, in our country, and in our world. They are socially isolated. And this COVID um, made it even worse for them. So Special Olympics had to get in there as soon as we can, and we did. Uh, we got right into the video. We got good at it. We usually see our athletes on the courts and the fields and the pools. Uh, but we got up on Zoom and we got our training clubs up online, and we're still doing that. So I'd love if you would contribute to Special Olympics New York. You can pick um, an organization. Um, in your CIFA catalog, as I remember, it's probably, that's probably online too. It used to be a big booklet that we would pass around. Uh, you can pick Special Olympics New York. Uh, I would love if you did, but if you don't and you have your charity of choice or you just wanna give, let me tell you from our perspective how important your giving is. Uh, at Special Olympics, we have about 200 fundraisers a year. Uh, we are the majority fundraised by philanthropic giving. Uh, we just get a little tiny bit of state support that has um, been cut, as you could imagine, um, in the last few months. So we rely on um, our donations. Um, and employee giving is an important line in our budget, and that comes from people like you and from the CIFA campaign. So it was great to give when I was at SUNY, great to be the campaign manager. What you really want to be able to know is that your money makes a difference, and at Special Olympics New York, and other um, organizations, I can tell you, it does make a difference to us and it helps us continue doing uh, what we all need to do even more so uh, this year more than others. And it helps us support athletes, whether they are gonna stay virtually or whether they're gonna get back in the game and start uh, training in person.